Good morning, Lego fans. Welcome back to another Knocked Off Blocks. Um, is uh, is Amundus still popular? Because I, you know, I think it is, but that's from my 30 year old perspective. All the young kids seem to be playing it these days, and you know what? As an intellectual property, it seems to be pretty lucrative because it's fairly easy to replicate the uh, you know jelly bean design of the crewmate figure, or you know the slightly more demented design of the imposter. <laughs> You know, you know how it goes. Anyway, so uh, this, as as an intellectual property, is fairly interesting because it's just fairly, a, you know, just basically a jelly bean. Look at this thing. It's basically a dog chew toy. Has a little squeak here inside, and you know, it happens to look like a little crewmate. So there you go. That's a marketing thing. This is a knockoff I got from China. Uh, I forget exactly where, but you get the whole idea. China is is just blowing up with these knockoffs as of late. I've seen them all over Wish.com, uh, Alibaba uh at alexi press a few others um that are not specifically uh you know chinese based but they're more or less uh uh in the region um so yeah i've got this thing it's a squeaky toy for some reason i don't know why because uh well that implies your dog is an imposter and that's okay that's cool uh but then we have this thing over here which is actually a little plastic toy uh it seems to be some sort of uh, hideaway thing with hides away a bone and it's very loose inside uh, you can stash some really cool stuff in there you know if you get my drift but yes yeah, so today we are technically talking about Legos and let me tell you the knockoffs of uh, knockoffs of what could be Lego equivalents of Among Us are fairly interesting I initially I wanted to buy this one shown to the left here uh, this is what was advertised to me on the seller uh, seller profile uh, however, that is not what I got. I got something fairly different. Let's get this guy out of the way. Ooh, I just killed somebody. I'm the imposter. Uh, we got this guy. Uh, this cute little adorable unassuming little dude who actually is able to pop open and reveal a little bone inside. I love the uh, the actuation of the, the joint back here. Um, actually, it's just a little, a little hinge and a, uh, a little hinge up the top to uh, kind of cover the first one uh, as a little uh, backpack and if you squeeze them all together he returns to a normal crewmate and that's very 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 cool um i bought this um you know as i as i mentioned i bought this with the intention of it looking entirely different uh as as the picture i previously showed but i'm happy to receive this one it has no arms and it's fairly uh, it's more accurate to the video game as as i am uh, one to believe. I, I haven't played too much of it, but hey, it looks accurate to me. And that's uh, that's all that knockoffs are really going for. It's uh, as long as it looks sort of uh, sort of similar and it fools the old ones like me uh, into buying it, then they still have a market somewhere. Even though the kids probably don't care too much about it at this point, uh, because you know what? Uh, once things go mainstream, kids just don't like it. Anyway, uh, so that said, they come in multitude of, of other colors, <clears throat> all the colors of the rainbow, and all. Uh, all of them, you know, they're all cool looking. They all have their own little hats, different colorings. Uh, I wish they had a different color ball for a yellow, a little yellow here. And red is looking oh so suspicious there. In fact, he's the imposter. Oh, surprise. I uh, really wish they didn't do that, but definitely hints out who has the weird tongue inside. Isn't that cool? There. Oh. Oh, he attacked me. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Okay, uh, anyway, looking at the other dudes, uh, I love the coloring. I love the, uh, the styling of these guys, the, uh, the, the basically the, uh, the orientation of them, how they can fit onto Lego pegs, and as a way to demonstrate, I made my own little electrical department. So if we just stick this little guy up here, nothing bad will happen to him, I'm sure. There we go. And uh, we can see that he sticks in, and he's fairly... Uh, proportional to uh, other Lego items and you can have fun make your own little uh, I don't know the scaled or some of the other uh, some of the other maps I don't know the other maps I just played on the scaled but anyway loved the electrical room uh, as my few times as an imposter loved loved the electrical room terrified to go into it as a as a crewmate but hey wait a know that's how it goes so I made this uh, little mock uh, this is kind of a two-for-one a knockoff and a mock show-off uh, I initially wanted to show this um, a as a way to segue into my own uh, Among Us knockoff figure. Uh, this is basically using the old 60s torso 
the old uh, air tanks and the uh, just basically blue helmets. And I tried to make my own similar Among Us characters, uh, but they're a little out of portion. And until I found these guys, this really wasn't going to work as a video. So hey, there we go. Those guys really saved the day. Um, but yeah, so anyway, as you can see underneath here, I'm turning the light. There we go, a little bit of light. Uh, this is the underside of the electrical room and with a little trapdoor for the imposter to go up, up and down. So, isn't that cool? Uh, yeah, just a little side note. Uh, I made a mock and uh, yeah, now I can have fun placing these guys all up and around and uh, uh, seeing who the imposter is. Hey, who turned out the lights? Oh, oh dang it. We lost another crewmate. Oh well. Alright, which one of you guys did it? Um, no, oh, looks like somebody vented though, so uh, maybe they're still. Oh, gray. I knew it. Anyway, uh, that was my mock and knockoff combined review. Uh, if you'd like to see more of this random shenanigans of me just playing around with Lego and hopefully uh, garnering some sort of likes out there in the community, please leave a like and subscribe. Eh, see, perfect segue. Uh, and I will see you next time. Until then, bye!